Well, 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 we're back in the building. It's your boy, Uncle Bull Cow. And uh, today I wanted to discuss really quick, quick video, overwatering. Or we're going to actually talk about overwatering versus underwatering. So what I have here is two plants. You can see the difference in color. This one is very, very yellow. This one is very, very green. It's hard to really get the color. Uh, I can see the camera's not really picking up. Um, this plant is actually greener than it looks. It looks looks kind of light green, and it, it is a lighter green, but it, it looking at them right now, like they're actually, there's more of a difference than what you can see, but I think it's enough for you to tell, okay? So, how did we get here? Well, there was a tray, and uh, and these are spare plants I actually have, and I've been doing all kinds of experiments and stuff too, so um, what happened was I had a tray that I had uh, bottom watered it, and it had more than enough water, and for some reason, uh, I decided to bottom water it again. That's not the way I should have done it. What I should have done is a spritz the top, or uh, maybe took, um, I don't have one sitting here, but I use a little squeeze bottle and I go around the edges with water. Um, and that way there, it just it doesn't, you know, it, it's, it's not a lot. If I think maybe they need a little water, but uh, putting water in the bottom of the tray and letting it sit for 15 minutes to half an hour, it just sucks up more. So what happened was this plant was overwatered. Now this plant was underwatered. Uh, this plant was was like the backup tray for these uh, in case anything went wrong. And I, I just was, was I, all of my other plants, hundreds and hundreds of them, I had no issues at all with overwatering, not one bit. Everything came out perfect. But this tray, and these are a late start. These are for somebody else. Um, uh, that whole tray was overwatered. And I, I and I knew it as soon as I watered them. I said, "Damn it!" Uh, so what you want to do in that case when you know you know, I, hey man, I screwed up. I overwatered. Um, you want to try to put some fans on them and let them dry out and let them get bone dry. Okay, once they are bone dry, you feel you stick your finger down in that soil. You guys can see that's just crumbly. This thing is bone dry. Once that plant is bone dry, if you haven't seen that green come back, there's a good chance that that plant's not going to recover, okay? And I've seen this a million times. I've had people sending me pictures, what's wrong with my plants, and this, that, and the other thing. And they've tried everything to get them to come back, and they just will not. Now, if they're, when they're a little bit bigger than this, yes, they will. With something like this, they'll be in that small. Um, it's not going to come back. At that plant right there, I let it dry out, um, and I checked that tray, and everyone on every single plant on that tray looks like this. Okay, that is not good. Um, yellow, yellow, yellow. Now this plant, these were still in the small cells, so I just actually put this one, but you can see. Okay, see how green they are? They're actually bone dry. Now I knew I was going to have to water them. Um, and I actually just yesterday I had so much going on that I didn't bother, but they, they needed water like probably two days ago. Um, but this is, would be considered underwatering. And if you underwater and you know, you don't let them just sit there and dry out until they just shrivel up and be completely dehydrated, then you're usually going to get away with it because this right here, all I got to do is give it water. That's all I got to do is give it water and it will recover. So if you forget to water some plants, you underwater plants, you can save them. Overwatered plants at this size, it, it's it's tricky. Like I said, the best thing to do, best thing to do, is let them dry out. Put fans on them. Um, try to keep it is it, is 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 the, the air as dry as you can possibly get it, and keep the fans going on them. And another problem I'd say um, that, that that maybe with this was when I did my other plants, um, hundreds and hundreds of seedlings, it was in January, February, the heat was running. It was very dry in my house. So if I did overwater a little bit, um, 
it wasn't that big of a deal because it was so dry. And now we're not having the heat running 24 uh, seven. The house has got more humidity in it. And so, yeah, so I tried everything. Um, I put the fans on them. I did all that. And it just, you know, it doesn't look like they are going to make it. So uh, what I'll do with these is I will take this tray and um, I will, I'll give it a little, because it's bone dry at this point, I'll give it a little bit of water today, that whole tray. Uh, I'll give it a little bit of water <clears throat> and I'll take it away from the lights um, and kind of let it get just ambient light for the next two days and see what happens because sometimes they will bounce back. Uh, but normally once you overwater, when you get them dry, you know, when you, you let them dry out, they'll start to turn green. You'll start to see them get really, really green and they will recover. Um, if they don't, when it, they're at this point, there's about a 90% chance that this plant's not going to make it. Now, will it stay alive? Yeah, it'll stay looking like this. It will not grow. Um, it will, it will just be stunted and ugly, and eventually the leaves will come off. You can see this leaf right here. Yeah, that leaf was gone. It just basically was, was just loose. And so, yeah, not a good look. But I am glad that this happened. Um, these were the last round of plants. They're, they're, I'm giving them somebody. I have backups. Like I said, I have a, a whole bunch of extras um, just in case anything were to happen. And I'm glad this happened so that I could show you guys overwatering versus underwatering. Remember, with underwatering, as long as you catch them before the plant completely dries up and shrivels up like these, these should have been watered probably three days, four days ago. But you know what? I'm going to put them in other pots today and give them some water and they will absolutely thrive. So thank you guys for watching. Just wanted to, if you haven't done already, subscribe, hit the bell, you know, all that good stuff. I just uh, double topped uh, my big plants today. So you guys can go and watch that video and see, um, you can also see me top. I actually top some plants in that video, but I double top also. So that is the second time pruning them because uh, my plants are not going outside for another three to four weeks. They're getting too big um, and some of them have uh, buds on them. So I wanted to get them things trimmed right down. They are just monsters. So now they're trimmed down. Of course, they're all scraggly looking, you know, but they'll grow back. And when I put them outside, they're just going to be a bush. I mean, insane. So thank you guys for watching. Uncle Bullcow and I am out.